Hey there, all you amazing people. Welcome back to another video of DPDR Friday. It's a video series where I give you some very quick tips and hints about DPDR and how to get a little bit better from it and feel a bit better from it. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about anxiety and sort of a quick thing that you can do to pretty much turn anxiety around, sort of trick your mind a little bit to make anxiety work for you. The thing with anxiety is that it can pretty much come in two sort of different ways. It can happen because something bad happens around you and it makes you anxious, or you can just sort of feel anxious and you're not exactly sure why. And sort of the tricky thing with this is that it's difficult because you don't actually know why you are anxious. So as an example, if you're sort of driving in your car and you sort of have a near accident and a car shoots by you and you're like, whoa, goodness me, what happened? You know, you're going to be, the heart's going to be racing. You're going to be breathing quicker. You're probably going to be, you know, feeling a little bit panicky and a bit anxious about that. But because you've seen the car go by, you know that that is the reason for your panic. And that is the reason for your anxiety at that moment. So your brain sort of has something to make sense of it all. But what happens if you start to feel panic? And you start to feel anxious when there is nothing, you know, you're just perhaps sitting in your home or you're out at work or whatever it is, and you're just sitting there. And then all of a sudden you start to feel panic. So your mind doesn't really have any sort of cause for it, or it doesn't know how to make sense of it. And that's when potentially a panic attack can happen. So there is a little trick that you can do to really help you with this. And it's all to do with the physiology of sort of anxious and panic and also excitement. And you might not be aware of this, but the same physiological things pretty much happen in your body with panic and with excitement. It's the same thing. So if you think about it with panic, you're, let's just use a couple. So your heart's racing and your breathing is quicker. That actually happens when you're excited as well. When you're really excited, your heart's racing and your breathing is quicker. So we can use this to sort of trick your mind into perhaps thinking that it's excited rather than it's panicked. So what I'd like you to do right now is to think of a time where you've been really, really excited in your life. It could be any time you could be doing anything. And once you've got that vision in your head, I want you to really turn up the brightness of all the colors. And I want you to really turn up the volume on all the sound. And, you know, it's like you're perhaps it's like a TV, you know, you're turning everything up to the max. And also I want you to get that feeling of excitement and really feel it, like really feel excited. And now once you've done that, I want you to think of another time that you're excited again. And now again, like you're turning everything up to the maximum, like all the colors, turn them really right up, all the volume, turn it right up, that feeling, feel really excited, you know, double it, triple it, 10 times what you're feeling right now. And now next time a panic attack happens, what I want you to do is to actually bring up those images that you've just say, you've just had and say to yourself, you know, I'm so excited about blah, whatever it is, you know, I'm so excited about being on that roller coaster. I'm so excited about being on that roller coaster. That roller coaster was so exciting, you know, whatever it is. And then what actually happens is your mind starts to sort of associate the, the physical physiology, physiological stuff that you're experiencing with the panic. And it's actually thinking, oh, actually, maybe I'm excited about stuff, you know, because it's the same feeling. And you can just repeat it to yourself over and over. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And that could be enough for your mind to actually have a reason for why it's feeling the way that it's feeling. And you might find that you're actually, your panic's going to diminish quite a lot. You might actually find that you start getting excited about things. And this is sort of a quick fix for you to do and perhaps a habit that you can get into and a coping technique next time you feel perhaps a panic attack coming on or you feel that anxiety coming on really quite bad is to use it to put you into a different state of excitement. So my friends, I hope this little trick has been useful to you. And if you did like the video, consider liking or subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.